He just stopped right there. Mm, you're doing good too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you. Just pulled into Fresno, eh? Bummer. I bet you got big dreams, don't you? Unfortunately for you, you found yourself on life's dead end path and wound up in Fresno. So look around you and see for yourself what awaits you. Take a deep breath. You feel that swirling hot negative energy engulfing you? Do your lungs now ache as you breathe in that hot, thick, and richly polluted air? It's too late for you. You can't turn back now as you suddenly discover that your mind and your spirit start to bog down as your mental capacity wanes and gives in under the weight of the suppressing droll malaise that's creeping through your entire being. Your heart starts to beat faster as you look around for answers, but see only glazed eyes staring right through you. You gasp for your sanity as your body convulses in hot flashes of confusion until you start to break down. A flood of malaise and disenchantment crashes into your brain like a raging tsunami, washing out all the simple peace and comforting solace right onto the street of broken dreams under your swelling feet. Your loin begins to burn for answers as hope drains from your psyche like you pulled the plug in the tub of your own zest for living. Your legs shake uncontrollably and you collapse in a heap onto the concrete. As you lay there flopping around like a burning piece of beef jerky desiccating in the sun, your inner will to live begins to flicker and wane and you realize and ultimately accept that your end is near. Your body begins to lift and float skyward up past the trees and beyond the birds into the sky until you find yourself entering a very thin layer of cool and refreshing mist like that off a dampened fern lace grotto lining a tall Colorado waterfall. You find yourself breathing slower and easier and as your racing mind calms you begin to chuckle from a past memory of your own bygone act of tomfoolery, from a day that you truly felt joy. And then you realize that you are home. So sit back in that big overstuffed chair you found on Ventura Street by the tracks. Lean back and engage that familiar footrest. Grab your favorite beverage and find a store window that broadcasts Comcast or AT&T. And then relax because you are about to enter the Joe's. You're an aimless traveler passing through space and time. About to enter a zone that has more of this and that and a whole lot more of the other. It is an area that lies between what is real and what is not so real. What is clear and what is not so clear. From the finest and from the foe. I'm going to China to my China. So sit back and perhaps grab a snack and prepare because you are about to warp into the Jozo. <laughs> now, oh, okay, next. When we go to the butt, we watch the BBC. Has this ever happened to you? Rochko! Scientifically proven ultra boss from Rochko gets rid of unwanted accumulation of food particles which lodge between your bike customers and threaten healthy gum development. And for all you dog owners, ultra floss is an excellent tool for cleaning your canines canines. How much 
much would you pay for a value like this? But wait! If you order now, you'll also receive a 10-piece card tool kit for around the garage use. This is normally a $21 value, but if you order now, you will receive a five-month supply of Ultra Floss and handy card tool kit, all for the low price of $35.95. We'll also send you this oil filter wrench, free, normally a $7.95 value. Send your orders to Ultra Floss, P.O. Box 111, Newark, New Jersey, 25361. The same COD cost, just call 1-800-555-3546. Operators are standing by, Visa Master Charge accepted order now. Look this way. The Bucket Video Channel presents the first annual Tacky Art Exhibit. Tuesday, April 10th from 4 to 7 p.m. in the Vintage Room. BVC will be judging the shabbiest, tackiest, most vulgar and inept art objects. Sweep the swaps, browse the bargain bins, attack the addicts and throw together your own gaudy entry. Dig deep into the inner recesses of redundant creativity and construct your own version of the epitome of poor taste. Remember, April 10th is the day. Pick up information and interest slips in the bucket for the first annual Tacky Art Exhibit. Be sure to get your entries in soon. Remember, the last day. To enter is April 6th. Thank you, and good night. Hi, I'm Rod Surly. You're about to meet an ordinary young man who's going to be put in a not-so-ordinary situation. Elwood Schmuck, your ordinary, everyday computer major is about to purchase his four o'clock soda. What he doesn't know is that he is about to enter a dimension where floppy disks and disk drives never meet. Where Fortran and Cobalt are foreign languages. For you see, Elwood is about to enter the dusk zone. Just where have you been? Don't ignore me when I'm talking to you. Where were you yesterday? I waited and waited and you never showed up. <laughs> You're certainly not talking to me. I mean, you are programmed for conversation. Are you saying I talk too much, you jerk? Uh, no, I was just saying that you... I missed you, you know? I miss the way your fingers always fondle my buttons when you make your selection. What are you talking about? I never fondled you. I... <laughs> Look, all I wanted was some pop. Oh, sure. I've heard that line before. Hey, keep your filthy hands off me, you beast. Help! I'm being molested. I don't ever want to see you again, you manhandler, you sicko! Get back! Back! You crush! <laughs> and so the man struggles. The man who builds machines. The man who controls machines. But then, no one's in control. In the dusk zone. Attention skiers, non-skiers, and everyone in between. How would you like to spend an evening reliving ski fever? Or perhaps learn about it even more? Well, the CSUF Ski Race Team presents Ski Film Festival 84. Monday night, October 22nd, 8 p.m. Doors open at 7.30 p.m. at the Satellite College Union. The films of the night will be The Thin Line and Powder. Talk with representatives from Solomon Ski Boots and Bindings, Sierra Summit, and Hot Bottom Ski and Sports. Donations, $2 for students, $3 for general public. Tickets available at the Student Union or from all team members. That night you can win door prizes including lift tickets from Sierra Summit, 
$170 Donnie tennis racket, and much, much more. Prizes donated by Solomon Ski Boots and Bindings, Sierra Summit Ski Area, and Hot Bottom Ski and Sports. Brought to you by the CSU of a Ski Race Team and KKDJ. Be there. Ski Film Festival 84. Monday night, October 22nd. If you're not there, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not on Thursday, but soon. And for the rest of your life. Ski fever. Get into it. It's for you. It's for one and for all. This is Desmond Osmond for The Bucket Video Channel. Hi, I'm Fred Dudesman, basketball star at Bucks North High. I've been playing basketball since I was about, oh, six feet tall, since about third grade. I play basketball all winter, but in the summer, I do part-time work as a jockey. I, part, I do part-time work at the Glossy Glue Factory. Now, want to see me give you a demonstration of my basketball prowess? Well, let me show you how I can stuff it. That's me, Fred Stutman. See you in Buckstar. Does that mean I'm supposed to start? No, you're not. I'm supposed to be first. They ain't done it. They said I could start. Cut! Are you ready? Now? I'm Lord Boyd. You're supposed to wait till I say who I am. He's Floyd Boyd. You can't do that. Can he do that? Huh? Hey, I can do that. Are you ready this time? Get it right. I'm Floyd Boyd. I'm Lloyd Boyd. We are the first contact lens recipients, recipients of Bucksnort. Thanks to all the friendly and generous folks of Bucksnort, today I can so perfectly clean. No, this see perfectly clear. That's just what I said. No, did not. You said so perfectly clean. And did. Did too. Did not. Did too. I did that. Bet you did. No, you yeah, ain't. Well, I, I know you did. I ain't gonna do it. Oh, how? No way. You're neat. I ain't gonna do it. Oh, you on yet? Turn the damn thing. <laughs> there you go. That chair so bad. Oh, he wants that so good, buddy. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna pick you up then. Oh, we're gonna pick you up. Yes, we're gonna pick you up again and again. We're gonna pick you up. Whoa, look at that. Oh, look at that. Ah, okay, go to the chair. Back up on the chair. It's become his favorite chair. Here. All right, you're not gonna stop going back and forth to that lounge chair. That do Hey, keep. Whoa. Around and around we go. Where she stops, nobody knows. There. Just walk there, Pally. Hey, hey. You get ahead? You get behind. Mm -hmm. Back to the back. Hey, hang on. 
There you go. Excellent. That deserves a pickup. Oh! I can help. Right? 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 Oh, somebody's sporting a pork pink pencil. Right here. Right here. Come on, pork, pork, pork. Come on. There you go. Stick a little stick. Right there. Go on. Drop it. Drop it. Ah, ah, ah. There. Yes. Okay. Go play. Go play. Go play. Come on, right there you go. Come here. Hey, 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 hey. Come here. Come here. Right here. Come here. Oh, 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 you come right here. Come here. Come on. Come right here. There you go. Oh, what's so wrong with that? What's so hard about that, huh? What's so hard about that? What's so hard about that? Uh oh, you're getting a little snappy, him. You're getting it in you again, huh? Okay, lay down. 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 Lay down. Okay. Oh, give me a kiss. Oh, I'll give me a kiss. Good. Now lay down. Down. Good. Mm. Oh. Oh. 
Rip it out. Rip it out. And this Oreo has an issue with its haunches and its toes, and I don't really know why, but sometimes when you pet it, it wants to bite your hand off when you touch its haunch or its feet. So we're going to see what triggers it again. Uh. Come on. Hey now. All right, let's go this way. Hey, hey, hey! kind of hyper on the on the leash because earlier today earlier today he was screaming like a a stuck pig or a feral hog or a feral dog most likely but he was throwing fits at the end of this leash he was screaming and hollering and there was blood coming out of his mouth from chewing look what he did look what he did to my leash this was this is a leash that I've had for over a decade for my dog Shep. And he chewed it right in half. It's almost gone. Anyway. So let's take a little walk here. Not very much, right there. Hey, can you sit? Can you sit for me? Huh? I don't want to tug too hard because I don't want to set him off. Sit down. Sit down. There you go. That's what I want. Oh, this dog is scary. He he bit me several times. Tore up both of my arms. 
He's really a jump. I got a nice blood blister right there on my thumb. Oh, this was a good one right here. See that one? That was lovely. Yes, one of those chompers right there. Yes, one of those chompers. I'm waiting for the time that he feels bad about having done that to me. He doesn't feel bad yet. He feels justified in having earned the right to chew me because he was in such a state of disarray, I shall say. But he seems much calmer now. Sit. Come on. Hey. Hey. Shh. Just sit down. Yes. Almost. Almost. Hey, stop. Sit down. Figure it out. Sit. Sit down. Just sit down. Sit down. Good. Okay. Good. Very good. Those those uh, try those eyes are so untrusting. I mean, look at them. They're just like, hey, hello, hey, Jimmy, Jimmy. There you are. There you are. Hey. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. That's okay. All right, sit up. Up. Good. Stop. Right there. And just sit. Okay. It's okay. Just sit. There you go. Yeah. All right. Good one. Good one. Oh, that was brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, oh, look at that dog. Oh, oh, all right. This is the first time, this is the first time that I've touched him in his chest, which I've been wanting to do, but I can't really because that would give him too much trust. But because I'm right here in the juggler raid area, <laughs> so we're just going to hang out right here. See if I can get his eyes to start getting kind of droopy and getting into it. And I know I have him. Yes. Yes. I want him wanting more. That's always good. Hey. Sit. 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 Sit down. There you go. Good. Good. Yeah, a little edgy. Still a little. Right. Okay, you saw I almost, uh, Jimmy almost took a turn for the worse there. <laughs> He almost went back to the screaming banshee. Almost, this close. This close to freaking out again. Come here, right here. Good, now let's try to get you back to sitting again. Just sit, okay, just sit. Sit down. Just sit, 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 sit. Sit, sit. Come on, Jimmy. Sit your butt down. Sit down. Oh, there. There. That's it. That's all you have to do. No big deal. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. 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 There. Okay. <laughs> Good. Ooh, that's what I want.
my dear lady. Hello. Hello. How you two getting along? Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. How you doing? Oh, there you go. Bye, Jimmy. Holly likes to lay and roll around in the grass. Really likes the grass. Holly likes the grass. Yes, she does. A little snapper heady. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy's a good boy. Jimmy's a good boy. Yeah, Jimmy's a good boy. You gonna bite me? You gonna bite me? Hmm. Oh, Jimmy. Up here. Good boy. All right. What I'm gonna do now is just get him to relax. So I'm gonna. Flip him over. Come here, buddy. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hey, real gentle. Gentle Jimmy. Yeah. Just get him to relax a little bit. I've had him for a few hours, so I know how relaxed he is, so I wasn't too worried about flipping him over. But you never can tell when dogs are on their back, they're, they become submissive, and some dogs don't like that. Okay, she's gonna go back over there. Oh, and there goes Jimmy too, in tow. All right, well, we're back in uh, Chachi's old single pin. Chachi kind of uh, led the way for uh, little Jimmy here, because I tasked him about well, maybe 30 minutes ago. Kind of like what I did with Holly over at my place, but now this is over in, in his neck of the woods. But he's not happy at all. He, he wouldn't come to me. He wouldn't listen. He's still kind of freaked out. He's still that way now. He's still that way now. But uh, he's not he's not the same dog he was yesterday at the end of the day when he was all nice and calm and sweet. Sit up and listening. Sit up. Sit up. He's really, really, really edgy right now. Hey. Jimmy. 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 Sit up. Come on. Sit up. Hey. Sit up. Sit up. Just sit. There you go. Sit. There you go. Yeah. Not the same dog. Darting eyes. He's very... He's just kind of gone back in his old style. Although, I am able to pull on his leash right now and he's not doing his natural freaking out thing. So I'm really... I'm happy for that. I think that's a really good start. Very good. You gonna bite me? Huh? Huh? Well, I think Chachi's been a pretty good influence on him. And Holly as well, but he's, he's got this real big issue and he wants to get past it, I think. I really do. I really think he wants to get past it. Hey. Okay. That's good. That's good. Chachi doesn't like his energy. But he's doing a really good job of doing exact. Let me look at him. He's my good boy now. This used to be his solitary confinement cage. <laughs> and now he ran back here with this other dog attached to him because I think he understands. I think he does. And he wants to help little Jimmy there. Chachi, don't you? You want to help Jimmy? You want to help Jimmy? Huh? You want to help Jimmy? Jimmy needs some help. Jimmy. You want some help? Huh? Come here. Come on. That was pretty good. He's really skittish when he first starts. Hey, Chachi. Chachi's kind of doing a dominant thing. I don't want to I don't want him to do that. I don't want to encourage that. I But see, Chachi has a fun spirit. He wants to play with him. He wants to play with him. And I want to see how he reacts a little bit. That's what he needs. He needs Jimmy needs a little fun and playtime.
It's okay, Jimmy. It's okay. Get him, Chachi. Wake him up. Wake him up. Wake up, Jimmy. Save his life, little buddy. Save Jimmy's life. There's a life worth saving right there. Oh, go get him. Get him. Get him. Get him right there. You get him. Go get him. You want to get Jimmy? Huh? Go get Jimmy. Let's walk with him a little bit. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's a good listener. Yeah. Somebody's a good listener. This one still. Look how afraid he is. Josh, make another round. Another round for the for the camera. There you go. One more time. Come on. One more time, Chachi. Come on. Come on. Right here. Chachi, come here. There you go. Come on over here. Oh, you come over here. Come on, Chachi. Hey, come on. Come here, right here. There you go. There you go. Oh, there you go. There's that other one. There's that little psycho. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's, it's that little psycho. Yes, it is. Well, Chachi likes it over there. It's nice and wet, and he's going to lay down because it's cool. Got to bring him around with a kiss. Kiss him, Chachi. Kiss him. Come on, Jimmy. Come on. Come on, Jimmy. Come on. Okay, this is Friday morning. Jimmy spent the night. Come here. Come here. Hey, come here. Good boy. Good boy. Right here. Right here. Let me see your little leash. Let me see your leash. Sit up. Come on, come on, there you go, no whining. No whining, buddy. No whining, no whining. Yeah, see, we're doing a little testy poo and you're doing just fine, okay? That's okay, that's all right. Now, let's take it off. Look at that, look at that, just take it right off. Now, Jimmy's free, Jimmy's free. You wanna put it back on, yeah? See, that's pretty good for Jimmy, huh? Yes. Hey, it still freaks him out, but he's still doing pretty good with it. Little Jimmy, come on. Let's go. There you go, come on. How are you doing? You're walking pretty good with that thing, huh? Yeah, you're walking pretty good. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, stop. That's good. That's very good. Let's see how you are with this leashy poo. Yeah, 
See how you are with that leash? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. Oh, let's try that again. Oh, and off and on. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, that's off and that's on. Yay! Oh, look at that face. Oh, look at that facey face. Oh, look at that facey facey face. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll pick you up a little bit. Yeah. There you go. Oh, hell. That's good, buddy. Sit up. Sit. Right there. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. You're carrying your burden well. Let's see this thing. Let's see this thing. Right here. Right there. There. Okay. Come on. Come on. What do you see, Jimmy? Hmm? What do you see? Hmm? Hmm? Jimmy looks a little calmer. He's still not a hundred percent. He's still a little edgy. Oh. He's come a long way though, I think. I think he's come a long way. Yes, I do. I think Jimmy's come a long way. But you're still a little skittish, so let's uh let's do a little bit of work here, okay? Okay. There's one. Yeah. Doesn't seem to bug you much. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about all that? Huh? Wow. Yeah. That's very chic. Come on, Jimmy. Come on. Follow my horse. There you go. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Jimmy. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, let's pick you up. Oh, that's good. Come on. Come on, Jimmy. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll take this one. Oh, that's perfect. Right there. Good. Perfect. Uh, uh, perfect. Okay. Uh, there you go. Just up. Perfect. Oh. Good. Perfect. Next up. Good. Next up. Good. Sit up. There. Oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty 
good right there. Oh, that was that was a lap of a champion. Oh, lap of a champion. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Lap of a champion. Oh. Oh. You're free. You're free. There's a ball over here. I think Jimmy's come a long way. Well, we're going to see how he's doing to do back over to shelter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I've reacquainted Jimmy and Holly. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Lead them around. Come on, Holly. Oh, oh, look at that doggy. Oh, look at that doggy. Oh, oh, look at her. You be nice to Jimmy. He's a little sensitive. Yeah, you go get him, Holly. You go get him, Holly. Show Jimmy the ropes. go Holly yeah there she goes and there she goes Kitty's checking out the two dogs, seeing that they're safe. Figgy, you're doing pretty good there, buddy. I appreciate that. The kitty likes the poodle. Kitty likes the poodle. Yeah. Kitty likes the poodle. Kitty likes the poodle. Yeah. Figgy's okay. Sit, Figgy. Sit. Sit, Figgy. Good boy. Nice one. Good boy. Good boy, Piggy. Nice one. Very good. No excitement around kitties. That's awesome. Hey, Poodle. Hey, you Come on, Poodle. Poodle. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Figgy! 
Yeah, Figgy wants to run. There you go. Come on, Figgy, you lead the way. Lead the way, Figgy. That's awesome. Come on, Figgy. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Figgy, you come this way. You come this way. There you go. There you go. Come on. Oh, yeah, Figgy. Good. Good spin about. Let's go. Come on. Nice. Good. All right. Let's go. Come on, Poodle. This way. Come on. Nice. Nice. Yes. Oh, that's a good boy. There you go. That's a good look right there. That's a happier dog right there. Yeah, I think he's a little happier. Hey, come here. I'm gonna get you to relax a little bit. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Okay, relax. 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 There you go. There you go. There you go, Pinky. Well, we got the two doggies up there on the same on the same chair. Yeah. Oh, there they go. Uh, little Jimmy. Figgy. Figgy. Hey, Piggy. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Come here. Come here, Figgy. Come here, Figgy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's Figgy's coming around. He's coming around a little bit. Oh, somebody wants to come up here now, huh? Yeah, yeah. Figgy and Jimmy. Figgy and Jimmy. Figgy, Figgy. There's Figgy. Hello, Figgy. Hello. Oh, oh, Jimmy's a little jealous. Jimmy's a little jealous. Yes, Miss Little Joss. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Figgy's happy. Little tail's wagging. Oh, that's a good sign. It's a good sign for Figgy. Oh. <laughs> Figgy, Figgy. Come here. There you go. Sit. Good boy. size of this dog. This dog is the size of most hogs. Look at him. <laughs> You're massive. You're massive. Stop. No. This thing's like stopping a whale. How do you stop a whale? Come on. Like a super tanker. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Come on. Just walk. Big, big. Uh, hold on. Hey. Hey. What's his name? Beast. Beast. Beast is his name. Beast. Beast, is it you? How old is he? Do we know? 
the well, he certainly got his balls. Uh, yeah. Come on. So there you go. See, you you want some water? Hmm. See how he kind of like it like he's got nerve damage? Mm. But that could just be. Hmm. That's okay. Right, you know. Yeah, you got something. <laughs> okay. Look at that tail wagon. Hello. 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 Hey, 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 don't go away. Don't go away. Don't go away. Don't go away. Stay and be loved. Stay and be loved. Come here. You're a girl dog. Okay. Yes. Instead of being Hannibal Lecter, you'll have to be Hannah Lecter. Yeah. It's little Hannah Lecter. Oh. Yes. Mm hmm. Oh. Somebody wants to love it over here. Yes. Somebody. I don't know who. I don't know who. Do you know? Hmm. Do you know who? Oh. We wanted to move in 90 days, and that was our goal. Selling a home can be a challenge. I've been through this type of market before. I'm going to be there every step of the way to guide them through it. Realtors I work with know the markets that they're in. They know how to market it. They know how to sell it. A realtor is making it seamless for us. Interest rates are at historic lows, which means more buyers are in the market for a home like yours. Every market's different. Call a realtor today. The market is always changing, and I'll always be ready for it. The Joe Zone. <laughs> <laughs> what a malaise, a disenchantment, a confusion starts washing out all the simple peace and comforting solace right onto the street. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Awesome, dude. <laughs>